So the first challenge was uh, the sustainability of uh, OERs and how do we achieve that. Um, I'm just trying to decode our rather free-form responses. Um, in the area of uh, application, we looked at um, making sure that uh, we promoted and supported uh, people using the resources to keep it sustainable. So that's about illustrating what's possible, creating learning scenarios, providing those, uh, helping to build a critical mass of use, and um, also ensuring appropriate communication um, to keep the community sustained and therefore keep the resources sustained. Um, an aspect of sustainability also was around specification, the need to make sure that there were rules uh, and um, uh, I suppose practices around what becomes a resource, so quality criteria um, and the existence of some sort of validation process um, or a team to assist in validation. Um, in terms of the community itself, uh, that was a key one to have a sustainability concept. Um, the community needs to be active and thriving and ongoing and feeding into um, the set of resources. A lot of our thinking was actually coming out of a bottom-up model, as you're probably picking up on this. Um, and the update and approval by peers was um, a, a very good aspect, both in terms of engagement and, and quality assurance as well. Um, and some extra points added in, sort of the rewards for teachers' contributions, possibly badges or other type of rewarding to promote community en engagement. And then sustainability um, uh, needs to have some form of infrastructure or environment underneath it. It's not just about the content, but uh, technological in infrastructure, standards and metadata, um, uh, and a, an infrastructure that's probably funded by somebody, maybe a ministry, and also a human infrastructure around support, um, and at a higher level, a policy commitment, uh, and a guarantee that there'll be ongoing, continuous supportment of supporting of uh, initiative. Um, and I think that was kind of what we said around sustainability.